Chris here with Music Marketing TV, and today we are going to be taking a look at the improvements from Pro R to Pro R2. Let's start with some of the bigger ones. There are now three modes. There is a vintage mode, a plate mode, and a modern mode. Here are some examples on the same source so you can hear their differences. Dolby Atmos is now supported and can handle channel layouts up to 9.1.6. This is a little hard to show over YouTube, but this is gonna be a great thing for surround in general, having such a high level tool come to it. And a huge amount of focus, this update was spent on the cross feeding between channels to give a real genuine sense of space. This is a great spot to mention the new speaker option and the decay and post EQs, which allow you to take specific filter moves to specific speakers, giving you a ridiculous amount of control over the image that you're creating. Stereo imaging has also gotten an overhaul because in the post EQ, there are now options for left, right, mid, side, and stereo, just like it is in the Pro-Q3. So this means that you could create these really unique, interesting stereo images and have them baked right into your reverb. You don't need to have anything after to deal with channel matrixing or anything like that. And this opens up some really cool stereo possibilities. <laughs> Another exciting change is the support of impulse responses. You can now bring in an impulse response. So if you go over to the preset browser, which has also gotten a great overhaul, go to the bottom, there's an import IR option or import impulse response. Click that, find your impulse response, bring it in. And from there, the Reverb Pro R2 is gonna look at that impulse and pick settings that will get you a similar sound. Now this is not convolution reverb. Convolution Reverb is a, a totally different process. Pro R2 is specifically an algorithmic reverb. So instead, it's going to look at it and pick the settings, trying to behave as if it were a convolution reverb, but it's not. So it's going to get you in the ballpark. It's not going to be exact like how a convolution reverb would be, but you get the benefits of all the controls that a algorithmic reverb brings to the table that a convolution simply just doesn't. So I recommend you give this a go. It's actually pretty crazy how close it gets if you compare them side by side. And uh, here are some examples of just using the system. If you want to get creative, you can give it some pretty weird stuff and it opens up some really cool sound design possibilities. Trash. Pre-delay 
has now been moved from the bottom up to the top where it is a lot more easily found and seen. So you don't have to go hunting for it, especially if you're newer to the plugin. Character is staying where it's at, but now there is a new thickness control. And I find that this usually impacts the transients the most. So here are some examples. The space knob, like before, goes from 0.2 seconds to 10 seconds, but now the decay rate is attached to the knob visually, showing how they are connected. The decay knob also got a huge buff. So before it went from 50% to 200%, and now it goes from 25% to 400%. So this increases your reverb time possibilities from 0.05 seconds to a whopping 40 seconds. So you get some really big, long reverbs and you can also get tighter reverbs now. Uh, very welcome change, very cool. Above the mix control is now a freeze button and this opens up a lot of really cool possibilities with pad sound design. Uh, this is something you couldn't do in the Pro R that the Pro R2 now allows you to do. The brightness control has now been moved next to the width control, which is a welcome change. They, they're related to each other, so it makes sense that they're next to each other. And next to this, we have two other settings that really help with mixing. Uh, the first one's ducking. So if you bring ducking up, what that's gonna do is it's going to duck or turn down the reverb signal when direct sound's coming into the plugin. So if you have a really long reverb, and you don't want it to get all cloudy and muddy when you know new sounds getting played, you can use this to just automatically turn the verb down at that spot. And then just above that, we now have an auto gate feature. So you, again, now afterwards, you can just have it automatically gate. You no longer need to set up a gate afterwards and configure all that. It's just right there, ready to go. We've got to give credit one more time to the new preset browser. It is a huge upgrade. It's totally gorgeous. And functionally, it is superior. It's got favorites, tags, and filtering. Everything is just much better than the old system. And I'm happy that it's made its way into the Pro R2. Uh, there's now output level metering. So that's just something that wasn't present before. And now that I see it here, it just kind of like makes sense that it's there. I can't, I can't believe it wasn't there before. After seeing it, it just, it just sort of feels right. Another setting that I felt like was there before and I, I, I learned it wasn't is the piano view when you're in the spectrogram. So you can tune your filters to specific keys. You can now very, very easily do that and set it up. And this is great, especially if you're trying to do some sound design or you're trying to mix in a way that's somehow relevant to a key and you're doing some stuff with very specifically tuned filter moves. Uh, this is now much easier to do. And the last thing, it's a little thing, but it just shows that the details were taken into consideration, and that's the icons. The icons are now more clear. Knobs have been moved around in places that just make more sense where they are now. Uh, and I really appreciate this. It's, it's clear that some serious thought has gone into uh, the workflow and just making things clear, transparent, and natural. So I can just appreciate these smaller adjustments like that. That's everything that's new with the Pro R2. If I missed anything, feel free to drop it down in the comments. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day.